Tesla Cybertruck, it represents a significant, in fact, a groundbreaking innovation in the automotive industry. It's pushing the boundaries of design, of technology, and of manufacturing. And now that I've just seen the giga casting for the Cybertruck in real life, I mean, not in my own eyes, but in photos, well, I have to say, mind blown. It is absolutely enormous. Hello, my friends. As you can see, I am a little bit excited here because I have, I do have an order. I placed an order in for a Cybertruck about, I don't know what it was, maybe 30 minutes after ordering. I probably say a different response every time, but I know it was within an hour. And then I printed out my receipt and I stuck it on the wall to use as inspiration for me to, well, to get my butt into gear whenever I'm feeling tired, whenever I'm feeling, whenever I'm feeling like I don't want to work hard. And I go, look at that. And I say, yep, yeah, that's your goal. Come on, you can do it. Welcome to the channel. It's great to see every one of you. Thank you for subscribing. Welcome to all the new subscribers. Great to have every single one of you. And make sure that you check out some of our old content. We've done 3,250 videos. Now, when I say old, I mean, a lot of that stuff is very interesting technology. Similar technology in some ways to this groundbreaking technology here with the Cybertruck. The Cybertruck, it features a unique exoskeleton design. It's made from ultra hard 30x cold rolled stainless steel. And Tesla is using a gigapress to construct the single piece castings, the largest single piece castings ever, ever used in manufacturing history using a 9,000 ton gigapress. Well, now the sightings of this huge single piece casting have a lot of people getting excited. They're saying, well, production is really happening now. Well, this is no longer a, what do they call it? What do they call it? They called it vaporware. Yeah, well, I'm sure you've heard that. Yeah, people have been saying it's vaporware. The Cybertruck will never exist. Morgan Stanley basically called it vaporware. He said that Tesla would only ever make a limited production run like Ferrari. I came here Ferrari and they just, they just sort of use it to illustrate the technology of the brand, but never actually make any of them in mass production. Well, I don't agree with Morgan Stanley. Who knows though? I could be wrong. What do you think? Let me know in the comments what your thoughts are on that. In my opinion, these castings, we should be paying attention to this. Why? Because it signifies the progress of production and highlights the significance of these castings in automotive history. We're going to look back and say, wow, that changed the way we build cars. We build pickup trucks. These castings are believed to be the largest single piece castings ever used in the automotive industry. And as you can see from the images, they look massive. In these recent observations of the castings, you can see their immense size and very distinct design. The wheel arches are notably larger and more angular compared to those on Tesla's SUV, the Model Y. And this indicates that the castings are specifically tailored for the unique design of a Cybertruck, of you know having a pickup truck that has a lot of space in areas where the Model Y doesn't. The presence of the single piece castings at Tesla's factory in Texas suggests that Tesla is on the verge. What are they on the verge of? Well, they're on the verge of commencing Cybertruck production. Even though it's late, better late than never. It's highly likely that testing and calibration of the gigapresses, which are responsible for creating these castings, is already underway right now. There is even a possibility that these castings are not merely test units, but rather intended for production vehicles. The development showcases Tesla's readiness for mass production of the Cybertruck. It appears that as though it could happen within the next few months. And the inclusion of such large single piece castings is a testament to the company's commitment to pushing the boundaries of automotive manufacturing. Tesla is doing this across a wide range of technologies. I think constantly, we sort of ignore that. We think Tesla is doing nothing, just sitting still. It's actually not the case at all. Now, this represents a significant milestone in the industry, demonstrating the use of advanced technologies and innovative techniques to build a pickup truck. We've been doing them the same way for how long? What, 100 years? I mean, how long has it been ladder frame chassis? Same way of constructing them, same boring techniques. This had to change. It was time for someone to innovate on the old school pickup truck. Finally, at least someone is doing it. Now, Tesla has set a timeline for subtruck production. They plan to begin in the middle of the year. An initial delivery is expected by the end of the third quarter. Elon Musk has cautioned against expecting a large number of deliveries this year. 
the sighting of the single piece castings at Gigafactory Texas, those signals that Tesla is making progress towards bringing the Cybertruck to market so that it's no longer vaporware, so that it becomes a real product. I suspect that some people will call it vaporware even when they are on the roads. They'll just like turn around and pretend it doesn't exist. Or I don't know, what do people do when that happens to them? I don't know, I'm curious. Anyhow, what are your thoughts on this Cybertruck? Do you like it? Do you still intend on buying one if you're one of the 1.7 million pre-orders? Will you go through with your order? I'm curious to know. Let me know in the comments. As Tesla pioneers the use of these massive single piece castings in the automotive industry, it showcases the company's ambition to redefine vehicle manufacturing and create groundbreaking designs that captivate car enthusiasts worldwide. Now they are groundbreaking, it is. You're reducing a huge amount of the manufacturing time and labor processes involved. You're basically turning probably 100 pieces, maybe even more than that, into one and eliminating all the welds, the stamping, the gluing, everything else that can fail. And what else does this mean? It will mean the Cybertruck will be more rigid than other pickup trucks and it will be lighter. Two massive advantages that Tesla already has in the Model Y. Thank you for watching, my friends. Let me know your thoughts in the comments. Bye-bye.